Less than a week to go until the nation risks going into default. A bill on the debt ceiling set for a vote today on the House floor. This comes after months of tension between the White House and congressional Republicans on this issue. I want to say good morning to Cleo Green, who joins us now in studio with more because the back and forth has been going on for quite a while. You think there's a deal, but quite a bit of pushback, Cleo. Right, and that pushback you can see on social media as well. The White House tweeting around 6 o'clock last night that President Biden and congressional leaders reached a bipartisan budget agreement that will prevent a catastrophic default. Now it's time for the House and Senate to pass this bill so that the president can sign it into law. But I'm seeing a lot of lawmakers letting us know how they feel about this deal and how they're going to vote as well, like Congressman Brian Donalds here saying to my Republican colleagues, do not vote for this deal. Your constituents will ask you why you voted to keep all of Biden's policies intact while you did and all you did rather was raise the debt ceiling. Then they'll ask why you didn't stand up and demand renegotiation. This is a lot of what I'm seeing. All right, let's break down what we're seeing in this deal as well. The White House reportedly estimating that the deal will produce one trillion dollars in savings over a decade. What will it do here? We'll break this down. The bill calls for suspending the debt ceiling until January 2025, pulling back $30 billion in COVID relief, rescinding $20 billion in IRS funding, and ending the federal student loan repayments freeze in August, and then adding new work requirements when it comes to some Americans on food assistance. In the Senate, top leaders like Chuck Schumer and Mitch McConnell are backing the deal, but take a listen to the concerns of others. I have a lot of concerns about this agreement. It's about taking food away from people who are hungry. I think the Biden-McCarthy debt deal is a disaster for the country. The final House vote is expected tonight, so we'll see what happens there. But another top talker on social media is the repayment plan for those student loans. Elizabeth Warren here trending on social media saying Republicans are pushing to not only block the president's student debt relief plan, but they also want to force 40 million borrowers to immediately pay back pause student loans.